guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Heather B. Denture Diva. What's up? Yes, I am completely toothless because today is I'm going to show you how I clean both my top and bottom dentures and putting them in. And if I need to make a little adjustment on my bottom, which I've been working on because they digging in spots I shouldn't. But before I get started, guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and also comment. I answer everybody. Unless you're meaner, then I do not. Um, I just normally block your butt. But I comment to everybody, all my information on how to contact me if you need to talk is in the description below, which is the arrow next to the title of the video. But make sure when you hit subscribe and you click the bell button, you click all. So you get all my notifications. I go live every Thursday at 7 p.m. unless I post um, on my community board, which will be on your feed, that something happened and I can't do my live and I switch a day. Um, also, too, I am getting back. I have a member section where it says join. Um, normally to subscribe to any YouTube channel, it's absolutely completely free, but if you want to join, members do get their own special videos, which I'm going to be back into, and they do get their own giveaways. So, um, if you want to get into that, I think it's like $2 a month or something like that, and you get more giveaways than, you know, you get the normal subscriber one, and then you get extra with your member one, which that's going to be posted this week as well. Um, so if you want to join, you're more than welcome to. Um... Yeah, that's going to be a good giveaway. So, if you want to join, be my guest and just pop up in there. So, um, yeah, I did this series, guys, because, you know, people need to know the truth behind everything. And I don't know why people have the concept of, oh, I have a few cavities in a root canal. Fuck it, let's just get rid of all my teeth. Please don't think that way. Keep your healthy teeth as much as long as possible. Because bone loss happens and your eating changes and, you know, people think it's a walk in a park and it ain't. So I did this series to show you guys the good, the bad, the ugly, everything to go along with it and what to expect. I don't think I've seen anybody do that. People will tell you, you know, after extraction day, after they healed or, you know, whatever it is, it'll be like, oh, it's a little pain. No, it's painful as hell. When you get immediate and you're swelling so bad and you can't, you're like scraping your denture in and out, it is very painful. Um... So, please make sure you're definitely, like, prepared for what's about to happen. Like, have the products you need to have to better quality of life and do all that. Um, this is a godsend, which I'm going to be doing this on camera. Oral B Mouth Sore Mouthwash is amazing. I think I did a review on this before. I'm not sure, but I know I did a giveaway on it. Um, it's actually fairly new within the year these came out. And, um, yeah, it's amazing. But I'm going to show you guys how I clean everything. Don't mind the mess because with kids going to school and me cooking and me going to surgery, I need to clean. But, um, yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to change out the um, section so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Might not be in frame, but you'll see what actually I'm actually doing. But I'll be back. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You guys gotta understand this stuff is amazing. It's actually got peroxide in it um, to disinfect and clean your mouth sores and it helps them heal quicker. So, <clears throat> so I already had my Dr. B solution, the liquid crystals in here. Disinfect, homegirl's got, you know, OCD. My bottom denture. Um, I'm gonna put my Q-tips to the side. My liquid crystals. Which I, I'm always running out of this crap. This is amazing stuff. First of all, with the, you guys got to understand when it comes to um, dentures, you you might have a lot of saliva when you first get your dentures because your body thinks that's food and you start to break it down. But you end up with dry mouth. And for everybody out there that's like, oh, my lips are dry. Yeah, that's because you're not licking your lips because your dentures are in the way. You will eventually. But make sure you're using chapstick, lip gloss, anything to keep them moist so they don't crack. And you'll get cracks on the side of your mouth, which, man, that sucked. But this has, like, coconut, tea tree oil, aloe vera, A, D, and E vitamins. You know, no artificial anything removes stains of tobacco and, you know, caffeine. And it's good for implants and gums. Like, you can use it on your natural gums. This stuff, guys, you can use in your mouth and your denture. It's freaking amazing. So, I'm going to clean the crap out of my denture. I think I put too much paste. That's okay. The more the merrier. The only thing I gotta learn is how to hold my damn freaking denture. It is not easy to hold it. I have a really small mouth. So it is not that easy 
to grip it and I don't want to drop it. So I keep a washcloth here. People say, oh, you can fill it with the, uh, the sink with water. Why the hell would you waste water? Um, and wash your denture like that so you don't break it. Plus, it can break in there. So I just use a washcloth and I do that. I'm going to rinse this off and show you guys. This is amazing stuff. It actually is super clean. And I only agree with two things um, for denture cleaning. If you're on a budget, brush and bright. Brush and bright is great. Um, and Dr. B's liquid, uh, Dr. B's clean it at pace is my number one. So this is my bottom denture. You know, so many people are like, wow, it doesn't look like much. How far does it go down? Actually, it goes down pretty freaking far and it's killing me. Um, but I'm going to clean these too. And by the way, guys, please clean your damn denture. So many freaking people are like, oh, I don't need to clean my denture. Well, I mean, you should learn from you losing teeth that if you don't clean it, things bad things happen. And bacteria fester in dentures, and you will get thrush. You can get even a staph infection from a mouse sore. Like, I don't even know if people know that, but your mouth sore can turn into a freaking staph infection. And you can actually die from staph infections, even though they're easily treated. So, please make sure you take care of your denture, your gum health, your mouth. It's great for healing. Take out your denture at nighttime to let your gums breathe. You know, there is people that ask me, why is it they had great suction with their denture and then at nighttime they don't? That's because the denture is smashing down your gums literally smashing down your gums and they get loose in the at night time so when you take them out and your gums fluff up while you're sleeping and they go back to normal that's why it's great suction it's just a denture smashes it down and they're like yeah it sucks so i'm gonna rinse off all my dentures make sure i get all the paste off and by the way guys dr b products is the only products not all of them, obviously, but the uh, cleaning and paste and the uh, cleaning and wipe are the only products of dentures you can use in your mouth, period. Everything else you cannot, it is toxic and it can harm you. So please do not use any other products in your mouth. Just a disclosure because I don't want people sticking denture products in their mouth. I heard somebody tell me that they put Fresh and Bright in your mouth. Please don't do that. No, 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 no. It's for dentures only. Only Dr. B's have that. So this is my Dr. B brush. I have arthritis, so it's a great gripper. Um, I'm telling you, Dr. B, can you make me a pink one? Like, I'm a diva, bro. But he has blue, white, and I believe green. Don't quote me on that, though. But it has the soft denture brush, because most denture brushes are huge and hard as hell. No, this is super soft, and then you have the regular brush. And if you use the liquid crystals, guys, you can literally use your denture brush and your toothbrush at the same time, which is amazing. So, minus the water mess I am making, I am going to check to make sure. I'm going to move you guys a little bit. Hey. Um, I'm going to make sure that I did my adjustments correctly for my bottom. It still hurts right here. Like a mother. So. But you know the whole thing is, guys, don't over adjust your denture because... Um, I'm just getting rid of the sharp edges because I have sharp edges. Um, don't over adjust your denture because, you know, your gums have to get used to it. And you can always put something there to help numb it. But I'm not going to do much to it. I did get a big gash, a huge gash in my mouth, guys, um, yesterday because there was a sharp, sharp spot I didn't know about. So when I put adhesive on the back part of my denture, um, all day it was digging in and I have a big gash in the back of my thing. Denture life. So much fun. Um, so yeah, I'm going to dry this off. Make sure you guys, guys, if you're going to use adhesive, please make sure you dry your denture. And make sure your gums are somewhat dry as much as you can. Because that's how adhesive works. Um, I will be doing my soft realign next week. Um, I didn't do it for my top yet because I want it to be fresh for bottom and top. But my bottoms look really healed. Most of the sockets are completely closed already, which, yeah. Um, and in my opinion, guys, I would say for the first week, don't wear your denture. I'm going to be real with you. Um, only because you heal so much better. Like when this, if you have a tight denture on top of swollen gums, you lose blood circulation, which takes a very long time 
for you to heal and close the sockets. And with swelling, that's your body trying to help you and fix it so the blood rushes to it. It's not going to be healing great. So having my tops in all the time when I first got it done, and this one I couldn't because the denture wouldn't go back in, so I was forced to heal without them. Big difference. I healed way quicker on the on the bottom than I ever did up top. Top is a bitch, by the way. I gotta say, out of all of them, my top was the worst. It was extremely painful and swollen, and I didn't have biofilm with my bottom, but I did with my top. I wonder why that is. Um, I'm wondering because maybe if you have infections or you have bad teeth or whatever, that's what causes it. Um, I don't really know. Because these teeth were healthy and there was no biofilm. My top ones had sepsis and it was biofilm. So I'm going to do some research and figure that shit out. Um, first I'm going to do my top. I'm going to show you guys all my Q-tip stuff and what I do and how do I do it. But then once I actually fix my soft realign and do all that, I won't need adhesive. But I figured while I need adhesive, too, I'll show you guys what I do. So I'll put you guys back down. I'm trying to get you guys in the I hope you guys don't fall off the counter. All right, so I'm using Fix It In Ultra Max. Put my little cap in there. Fix It In Ultra Max, which I freaking love Fix It In Ultra Max. Um, it doesn't matter how you place it. Um, only because I'm going to use a Q-tip anyway. So literally, most of this is probably not going to work. But, um, like, it's probably not going to, I'm not going to use most of it. But Fix It In Ultra Max works freaking great. Yo, I used a little bit yesterday on my bottom. It's just where I was already healed for the last few years. And damn, that shit was tight. I was like, word. So what I do is I literally make sure it's just a thin layer. And I do not go far on my back. So I'll fix that and scoop it up. But see, all the extra will go on the Q-tip. And you guys, the reason why I started doing this whole Q-tip trick is literally the globby shit was just not working and taking forever to dry. My denture was sitting uneven. It was crap. So I was like, hey, let me try a Q-tip. And it worked. I would not use a craft stick only because it's too big. And not only that, it will not come out as smooth. Um, but for people like, oh, you know, the cotton's going to get on the denture. Well, no, you can lick the uh, Q-tip. Like a quick lick, smooth it out, and then do your adhesive. But... Nice thin layer. Perfect thin layer, actually. I try to avoid the frenulum. You know, I wish I was able to get that damn thing out. Only because, like, I keep gluing it to my damn denture. And when I had my immediates, the more my denture went up, the more my frenulum killed me. And I kept having to use those little emery boards, which is a godsend, to do my frenulum. So, I push it forward, and I put my thumb there. I press up a little bit. Sometimes you gotta dance, guys. But that's my top. Oh, it's coming through my frenulum again. Another fluffer. Oh, nice. This helps to get the adhesive out of my frenulum. Listen. It ain't easy to be a denture wearer, I'm going to tell you that. You know, I'm glad they came out with adhesive. I'm just saying. Um, what else was I going to tell you guys? Oh, also too, soon, I will be doing a Curox and giveaway um, to help you guys with pain. Because at least it's all natural, you know? Which is what I'm going to be using right now. I'm almost out of it. I'm going to put it right in here. Look at that. All I saw. That looks so bad. Uh, that's what dentures do to you guys. If you're not used to it, we have very thin skin on the bottom. Very. And the whole thing is, is that it's, it's delicate, so the denture is ripping it.
But please make sure you take your denture at a night so the mouth sores can heal. Um, that's really a freaking essential. Like, you have no idea. Um, hold on, guys. I'm going to get another Q-tip. Hi, guys. Okay, so I'm going to put you down. I'm going to show you what I do. Okay, since I already told you guys my backs are already fully healed, but I do not want to put anything whatsoever on my, um, the front part. So, oh, let me dry that. I'm not used to having a bottom denture, guys. Um, at all. But, man, I can't wait to use denture fit. I don't like hard acrylic feeling. It is very, very freaking painful. So, shout out to my homies who do this because it sucks. But, but that's even with my top, too. Like, I just hate the feeling of hard acrylic on my gums. And denture fit is a godsend. So, what I do is I do a very little bit, but I'm going to take most of this off. Um, because I want to be careful on my sockets. So, I'm going to get all around it. And I want to get on this part, too. I want to make sure it's glued up in there. And not whatsoever touch my socket. So over here would be the socket part. And as you can see, I'm not even going by it. And the reason why I spread it out is because I don't want it oozing. Because that sucks. But God forbid if I do get a little bit on the sockets, hopefully they don't come out because they already mainly yields really well. But I just hope today goes well. And I got all the sore spots. I'm hoping. Yesterday was rough with that rough spot, man. Holy crap, that sucked. Like, you guys don't even understand that was so bad. I couldn't even, like, make the video for you guys and talk to you guys. My video before this, because I had to get off while I was eating pizza, because the pain was so bad. Not only that is, I was like, dude, why are you eating pizza? Like, with, with a hardcore mouse or with the sauce? <laughs> don't ask. Right down. Break it down. <laughs> what I like about Fix It and Ultramax, guys, is that it grips and holds it so well. Like, it was so tight yesterday. Like, I was like, dude, that's crazy. And it was bugging the hell out of me. It was like, when I f first putting adhesive in there, with it being so tight, I was like, oh my god. I feel like, because I'm so used to not having anything back there, that my gums felt claustrophobic. It's actually quite funny. I just hope I don't cut the back because that sucked yesterday. But so far, so good. Let me back up. Hi, guys. So, with my dentures in, um, I still talk with a little bit of weirdness um, because, like, when I take my denture out, I talk better as I go through the day. And then when I take it out, it's like starting all over again. So, I gotta get used to it. A lot of people get frustrated in this process, which I totally understand, but don't quit. Because how are you supposed to get used to something if you just quit? You can't. And freaking Brandon yesterday was like, well, do you really need your auto denture? Can't you just leave it out? I'm like, no. One, not a hypocrite. Two, you need it to prevent bone loss. Three, I like to eat pop chips, for the love of God. And I don't want to cut my gums and end up with a problem. That happens to a lot of people. Even with people with real teeth. You can get chips in your gums and infection. And fuck that shit. I'd rather not. But... I'll put you guys up some. But because I saw mouse sores there, it hits it and it hurts. And my gums have to get used to it. But yesterday was bad with that sore spot. I just hope it doesn't happen today. Hopefully that stays in and it's nice and dry. But yeah, it was big. He had to drum a lot, guys. Um, It was really hooked. And it was a big-ass problem. So he dremeled the crap out of it. Then it became loose. But I was like, you know what? Most of this is healed back here anyway, so I don't give a crap. Um, that's been healed for two years now. 
So it's really the front. And the front's tight. Doesn't matter. So um, I'll use Dentrofit. And we'll see how it goes. If I need some adhesive still, so what? As long as my denture stays in, I don't care what I damn use. Yeah, it's like right here. But I'm pretty sure with the swelling goes down, I'm not going to adjust anymore. Unless it's like digging in like back there. Because that's already healed. Um, but I'm not going to adjust anymore. Because this is all going to shrink anyway. And it's going to be loose. So I'm not even going to bother fixing that. I'll just deal with it. Um, but thank you guys for watching how I do my morning routine now. New routine. It's going to be interesting. But I'll always keep you guys updated and posted on how I do things and how I eat with it, which will be soon. Um, but I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe. God bless. Later, guys.